Now we'll do a couple of examples where we have to complete ordered pair solutions. In other words, we'll be given one number from an ordered pair and we have to find the other. And here's the first example. Complete the ordered pair and you see here it's two comma something and that's the something that we don't know that we're going to try to have to find. Complete that ordered pair so that it is a solution to the equation 3x minus y equals 1. Well in this ordered pair here the 2 is x and the unknown thing here is y. So I know that x is 2. So I'm going to take this equation and rewrite it but putting in a value of 2 there for x. So instead of 3 times x minus y equals 1, I'll say 3 times 2 minus y equals 1. And now we need to try to find this y value. Well, the 3 times 2 right here is 6, so I can rewrite this equation as 6 minus y equals 1. And you can see at that point that y has to equal 5 because 6 minus 5 equals 1. So y equals 5, so I can complete the ordered pair. The ordered pair would be 2 comma 5. And here's another example. Complete the ordered pair something comma negative 4, and the unknown value there is x, and the negative 4 is y. So same equation here, 3x minus y equals 1. I'm going to take that equation, but I'm going to write it, but instead, I'm going to rewrite it, but instead of putting in the y, I'm going to put in this value of negative 4, because I know that y right there is negative 4. So let's do that. 3x minus negative 4 equals 1. And that's the same as saying 3x plus 4 equals 1. Now we need to try to find a value for x here that satisfies this equation. So what I'll do, I'll use my rules of algebra that say I can add or subtract the same thing from each side. So if I say minus 4 on each side, over here on the left the plus 4 and the minus 4 cancel out. And I'm left with 3x on the left and I have on the right 1 minus 4 which is negative 3. Now I'm trying to find x. Right now x is multiplied by 3. So to get rid of that, to isolate x, I need to divide by 3. And the rules say that whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So if I divide by 3 on the left, I have to divide by 3 on the right. And then on the left, the 3 up here and the 3 down there cancel out. And I'm left with x all by itself. And x equals negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. So that's my answer. The ordered pair, then, would be written with a negative 1 right there for x. The ordered pair would be negative 1, oops, negative 1, comma, negative 4. And last of all, we'll talk about ordered pair solutions to equations with one variable. So look at this equation, x equals 4. This equation only has one variable, x. And we're told to find an ordered pair, okay, two values, an ordered pair which satisfies this equation. Well, look at this. What if I had this ordered pair, 4 comma 2? Well, this is x is 4 and y is 2, so my x value there does in fact equal 4. So that ordered pair, 4 comma 2, is a solution to this equation. You could probably see that other things would also be a solution, such as 4 comma negative 5. This also has x as negative 4. y happens to be negative 5, but that doesn't really matter. The equation just says that x equals 4, and that's all. So this would also be a solution here, 4 comma 1,000, and so on. We could have an infinite number of solutions. It doesn't matter what y is. So if the equation only has one variable, and you're working with two variables, then the other variable can have any value.